Now, if you've been considering having a home theater in your home, but you've been struggling with your lighting situation, let's face it, when theater comes to mind, you think about absolutely dark rooms. You think about no light. You think about dark shades, blocker shades, right, that are eliminating all sources of light so you can get the best video experience. Well, in today's video, as you can see here, we're going to talk about the Elite Screen Sable Frame Starbright 9 series screen that's going to give you video quality like this in an average room. You heard that right, in average room. Also, we're going to compare it and do all our testing with this fantastic projector from BenQ. This is the BenQ, right? X3000i. It's a gaming projector, and boy, does it perform well. Now what makes this viewing experience possible is the Elite Screen Sable Frame Starbright 9 series screen that has this technology that's called ambient light rejecting technology, right? So what ALR does is basically it rejects light from all sources except the source that matters and that is going to be the projector. So it's basically going to allow you to get the best viewing experience because it's ignoring light everywhere. And as you can see by this example, Basically, I have two viewing scenarios. One, where I have four to ceiling lights, or, or actually a window, that is allowing all this light to come in. And then the other side, you basically have what it would look like at nighttime. I am not in any way having special shades. As a matter of fact, I have these, these shades uh, that Nelda ordered that are um, almost transparent in nature, right? It's almost like cheesecloth, right? They're not really dark shades or blackout shades in any way. And you can see what our experience looks like. And that's because of the Starbright 9 series screen series. So I get wide viewing angles. I'm able to absorb 95%, right, of the light. And I'm giving you a fantastic experience that you could see here. Matter of fact, this screen is certified for 4K or, or, or 8K Ultra HD and HDR viewing. So you're going to get a fantastic experience when it comes to this. Now, the screen does come in two sizes, 106 inch and also 122 inch. And you can see I have the 106 inch here. We basically have also this velveteen treatment that goes all the way around. It's 2.3 inches and it really gives this thing a pop, especially at night, right? Because you make sure that you really get those, those dark looking borders. And frankly, you know what? Especially when it comes to a screen alignment, if you have a challenge, the velveteen kind of uh, border also makes it a little bit more forgiving, which I also really like. So the next thing is, let's take a look at the projector that we paired with the screen so that you can see how they work together. Now the projector that we're using in this test is the BenQ 4K X3000i gaming projector. A mouthful, but I have to tell you, this is my best gaming projector uh, that I've ever tested on the channel. And I've tested other BenQ products. This thing, is superb. You're talking about a projector that has 3,000 lumens, right? A 20,000 hour lamp life, and it has a four LED system that it basically has uh, that extra LED, that four LED system basically pumps or increases the performance of the projector by eight to 12%. So this is giving you an amazing, amazing experience. You also then have a couple HDMIs, right? You also have support for eARC. You also have USB-A, and you also have a 12 volt trigger, right? And the cool thing about the 12, 12 volt trigger is that if you connect other items to this, as soon as um, they interact with each other, you're basically able to uh, have a lot of things activate at the same time. So for example, I could get, if I had a rollable screen that also um, Elite Screens has, I can actually have the projector trigger and enable all those things. So that's the importance of having that audio trigger. You also have an audio cable out. And remember, because you have eARC, you're gonna be able to get fantastic audio coming out if you have a soundboard, soundbar connected. Now, this projector is 100% DCI-P3 compliant, um, HDR10, and also has 3D support. Now, this really comes down to gaming, right? Gaming is all what this projector is about. But I have to say, the viewing experience for watching movies, the quality that you're seeing here, is again fantastic. We've been watching a lot of movies. We've been watching some of the new ones that have just been recently released and we've been enjoying our viewing experience. Um, but the gaming is where it's at. So if you're looking for something that you can take with you anywhere, indoor, outdoor, or even for movie viewing outside, this is gonna be a great projector. We're talking about 4K 60 Hertz and check this out, 16 milliseconds response. Right, that's hitting the trigger and how fast that interaction is. And if you want ultra, ultra fast uh, performance, and I have it connected to my uh, PS5, if you lower the resolution to 1080p, 240 hertz, four milliseconds response. 
All right. So this is going to be for someone who is looking for very, very, I would say, um, aggressive gaming. Now, if you're doing standard gaming, um, you know, some of the stuff that I do, I don't really get into that the hardcore gaming that the milliseconds refresh rate really matters that much. We're doing, you know, standard PlayStation games. We're also doing a Nintendo Switch games, Xbox games, obviously. But, you know, if you're really looking for, to have a... I would say a, a, an experience when it comes to gaming that is going to satisfy a wide range of devices, this is going to be the projector uh, for you. Now, this is more than just a gaming projector when it comes to um, the projector itself. We mentioned the fact that you could use this for movie viewing. Well, this projector also comes with an Android TV stick that really extends the usage of the projector to really replace a TV. We're talking about Android TV uh, really, and it's going to be very comparable to what you see in the NVIDIA Shield. Also, Bluetooth 4.2, it has Wi-Fi, and you also have Dolby Atomos, right? Now, it does have two speakers. It has dual 5-watt Trivolo speakers that performed really well. Now, I would say that if you're going to use this in a home theater environment, like mounting it to a ceiling or having it you know, within, let's say, a distance of um, 8 feet, because in my experience, um, 8 feet is going to give you 100 inches, my screen is about around 100, uh, 10 feet or 8 to 10 feet away from the wall in what you're seeing right here. And we got a great, great viewing experience. But if you want to really step up your, I would say, your viewing experience, I'd recommend getting a surround sound system with this or um, some additional Bluetooth speakers. But the speakers did perform well, especially if you're doing gaming because the speakers, they're facing um, on the backside. And they actually, if you're behind it, which you, you would be, you're going to be able to get a great gaming or also movie experience. But with Android TV built in, you really get, uh, you know, all your streaming services you'll be able to watch on this box. Now, before doing a deep dive into the, I would say, the BenQ X3000i, I wanted to highlight the screen that's at the center of all this. Uh, one of the things I just wanted to highlight is that there is a very bright light source. I'm going to put my finger here on the screen and point this way. There's a bright light source. It's around 3 p.m. Uh, here in Chicago. And look at the kind of screen performance we're getting uh, from this screen combined with the BenQ projector. You can see that the reds are vivid. You can see that the oranges are popping, greens, the whites. And yes, even the blacks are there and they're present. They're not inky black yet, but they will be as uh, it basically gets darker. Now, the reason why this is possible is because we're taking a look at a real special screen that is making this possible. It's the combination of the BenQ projector, but really what you're looking at is a special screen from Elite Screens. And what this screen is it's an ALR screen. It's actually from the Sable Frame Starbright 9 series. And it is a ALR screen, which stands for ambient light rejection. It eliminates or rejects light from all sources except the projector. This is why this is so bright and this is why it looks so good. And this is why literally this could be a TV replacement solution. So the projector is about 10 feet away. You have a fantastic image and you have it during the day and you're not in a room that has, I would say, blackout blinds or shades that are covering things up and you're getting this fantastic performance. Now, Elite has many different screens that you can choose from. Not only does it have something like this that is a short throw, meaning that the projector is right in front of it, but they also have, or in this case, 10 feet from it, they also have screens that are for ultra short throws that we also uh, would say are highly um, great when it comes to performing in front of a projector of a different type. This is a short throw projector. There's also ultra short throw projectors that just fit inches away from the screen. And there's a screen type uh, that Elite has that also supports that. But again, the one that we're looking at here is the Sable Frame, right? The Sable Frame Starbright 9 series that's going to eliminate 95% of the ambient light, giving you an image that looks like this. Now, the BenQ X3000i uh, comes with an Android TV stick. And what you're seeing here is, is, is that screen, right? It's basically what's being loaded from the Android stick that is um, kind of not so much installed or embedded, but it's tucked away in one of the HDMI ports that is covered up in the projector. And what I wanted to do is just go over some of the settings so you can see what you can expect. Now, it does come with a remote, and you can see the remote right here. So this is the remote that it's a Bluetooth remote that you'll be using to control the projector. It does have an Android button on there that you can uh, use to speak uh, and invoke Google. And then you also have the ability to bring up 
the menus. Now it does have a shortcut menu and then it has a advanced menu. And I turned on the advanced menu because I wanted to give you guys a sense of what features you had. And we're not gonna go through every single feature because BenQ has been in the industry for a very long time and they make fantastic projectors that have great image quality. As a matter of fact, this projector that we're looking here as we described has a, um, it's actually a projector that is brighter than projectors of its class because of the technology that we described. So as we look at what we see here, basically you have the picture settings that you can set up, right? And you can choose from game settings and there's various game settings as we discussed. You do also can adjust the brightness, contrast, and, and all the settings that are there. The audio, um, this is where you would be able to make that adjustment. Um, and keep in mind that as you raise the volume, it also raises and it does really well. And we're gonna do a sample of what the audio will sound like in a second. Uh, again, you could modify certain areas about your display. Right now I have it set to auto. It does have a manual focus. Uh, so it's not a digital focus. So it does have a focus, uh, I would say dial that you'll be able to use to focus, but it does have auto keystoning, right? So that I like. Now, as with any projector, what you wanna do is you wanna have a projector set in the right distance, in the right angle, that will require the absolute minimum adjustments when it comes to keystoning or any other kind of manual adjustment. You wanna do that because uh, you wanna be able to keep that fast response time when it comes to gameplay. If you start requiring a lot of correction of the image to take place by the projector, then you're gonna slow down your performance. Right, so as you can see here, a lot of cool features that you can set up. And then this projector is gonna work with a, very, a lot of various settings. So if we look at what's going on here, you can have front facing, you can have rear facing, you can have ceiling mount. There's a lot of different mounting options that you can have. And then you could also turn on that uh, 12 volt trigger. And the cool thing about the trigger, for those of you who are curious about what that means, is that you can actually connect uh, to it a device that enables other things. So for example, if I had a rise up screen, I could connect it to the trigger and as soon as the, let's say for example, the projector turns on, it's gonna invoke the screen to come up or come down. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do right there. Uh, so let's get out of here. There's your keystoning and other things that you can play with a little bit later. Later, there is also that here um, is all your color calibration. But what I find is that with BenQ, the projectors out of the box come well configured and have a great, I would say, color signature. You can always tweak things to your liking but I really like the way they come out of the box and there's very little that I have to do to this projector. Now the Android TV stick that you see here is actually a BenQ device. It is a branded BenQ device that just has the Android TV operating system loaded inside of it. And what you see though is what you would expect from um, let's say even an NVIDIA Shield, for example, you're gonna get the same type of look and experience. And as we go up to the menu, we'll go over here to a second. Once we go into the menu, you'll find that there's some very I would say familiar things if you use an Android TV stick. Now, the one thing that I will highlight is that because this is uh, specific to BenQ, there may be certain applications that are missing. Uh, so for example, if I go into uh, the applications and I'm looking for example, Netflix, this is based on my profile and it should load uh, the same applications that I have across all of my Android TV sticks and you'll notice that Netflix is not included. So if you're looking to be able to have Netflix on this device, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get a third party stick, um, either a Amazon uh, TV stick, right? Or what you could do is get an Nvidia Shield. So you have some options on things that you can do if you wanna be able to get some of those applications to be embedded. Just connect another device to it and you're set to go. Now I'm sure many of you, as you heard the specs on the actual wattage of the speakers were maybe concerned would this solution work in a, let's say for example, a theater in the back solution where everything is included. And I wanted to play some soundtracks coming from our channel on a review that we recently did for these earbuds to give you a sense of how well these things perform. They actually perform surprisingly well. Uh, let's take a listen. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Momentum True Wireless Earbuds. 
pretty loud, right guys? That was, that was loud. So my experience with the, with the actual projector um, and, and the sound, yes, you can connect this because of the settings to an external speaker, sound bar, surround sound system. And if you're gonna make it a permanent fixture, absolutely. That's something that I would recommend if you're in the position to do so. If you'd like to use this as, a, as let's say, a portable gaming solution, because let's face it, the response time and the performance of this uh, projector puts it in, its, in, in the best category when it comes to a gaming projector, and you want to take it with you, then you know what? You really don't need it. The, project, the speakers themselves are pointing backwards. You're going to be able to feel all the rumble. You're going to feel the music coming towards you. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.